it is an unusual setting and experience for us, isn't it? It's not quite what we anticipated. We anticipated them coming on a boat, hundreds of people out there, and lovely meals set out, but there isn't any of that. And a lot of people have experienced that. This is a first for me. I've never done a wedding in the open air before, and I've never done a wedding in my Wellington boots before. <laughs> I've taken a service in my swimming costume, well, <laughs> sort of, uh, for the kids, um, but never like this. I was watching the television um, a few weeks ago, and they interviewed a couple in exactly your position whose wedding had been put on hold. They were in Northern Ireland, and in Northern Ireland, as you may know, um, they've allowed weddings like this a few weeks ago and they were asking this couple how they felt about it being like this rather than the big wedding that they were going to have and it was very interesting their response they said well it's focused our minds on what's really important it's about love it's about commitment it's about God's presence it's about family and they said everything else has been stripped away from our wedding but we've got that, yeah. and that's the bit that's important. And I thought that was really yeah. very moving no, very, and very right. Very um, and that's what we've got here, a stripped back <laughs> wedding. But we've got the essentials. Sometimes at weddings, um, big weddings, you almost get the feeling that there's a feeling, let's get this bit over quick so we can go and party and celebrate. Mm. Now there's nothing wrong with the party celebrating, mm -hmm. but it seems to have turned it on its head, um, got it the wrong way around. So the party and celebrating, I'll have to wait, <laughs> I'm afraid, but we've got the essentials here today. So a verse from 1 John 4, God is love and those who live in love live in God and God lives in them. An opening prayer. God of love, we praise you. You made the world in love, giving us freedom. In Christ, you lived by love, accepting all its hurts and sharing all its healing. By your spirit, you are present here with us in love, everywhere and always, here and now. As we respond to your great love, accept our worship and commitment we bring. Bless the commitment of Emma and Elliot. Let the love of Christ be present in everything done and begun today. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We were going to sing, I the Lord of Sea and Sky, but we've got the sky, we've got the sea, well, more or less the sea, um, but I won't offer to sing it for you. We've come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Elliot and Emma, to ask his blessing on them and to share their joy. Our Lord Jesus Christ was himself a guest at a wedding in Cana of Galilee and through his spirit he is with us here now. Marriage is a gift of God and a means of grace, a lifelong union in body, mind and spirit of two people who freely enter it. In it, God's Spirit enables both partners to know the security of love and care, bringing to each other comfort and companionship, enrichment and encouragement, tenderness and trust. Through such marriage, children may be nurtured, family life strengthened and human society enriched. Elliot Harvey Donald Crippen, do you take Emma Jane Guy as your wife in Christian marriage? I do. Emma Jane Guy, do you take Elliot Harvey Donald Crippen as your husband in Christian marriage?
He doesn't know he's left, he's right. <laughs> Elliot, say after me. I, Elliot. I, Elliot. Take you, Emma, to be my wife. Take you, Emma, to be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. Say after me, Emma. I, Emma. I, Emma. Take you, Elliot, to be my husband. Take you, Elliot, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honor you. With my body I honor you. All that I am I give to you. All that I am I give to you. All that I have I share with you. All that I have I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of our marriage. As a sign of our marriage. With my body I honor you. With my body I honor you. All that I am I give to you. All that I am I give to you. And all that I have I share with you. And all that I have I share with you. Within the love of God. Within the love of God. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Right, you can hold hands there. <laughs> and uh, since Elliot and Emma have declared in the presence of God and in front of us that they will live together in Christian marriage, since they have made their promises to each other and symbolized their marriage by joining hands and giving and receiving rings, I therefore pronounce them husband and wife in the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Those whom God has joined together, let no one part. And just ask you all to respond with the words, with God's help we will, to this simple question. Will you, the families and friends of Elliot and Emma, support and uphold them in their marriage now and in the years to come? With God's help we will. I pronounce them married. <laughs> <laughs>
May the hospitality of their home bring refreshment and joy to all around them. May their love overflow to neighbours in need and embrace those in distress. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. May they know your presence in all the joys and sorrows of family life and come at last to the end of their lives with hearts content and joyful anticipation of heaven. Lord of life and love, hear our prayer. So we thank you, gracious God, for bringing a daughter, a daughter-in-law, a friend, together with Elliot, our son, together to this day. Meerkats, Froggy and <laughs> Cherub and whatever else she may be called by friends and family. We thank you for the joy that they find in each other, for the love and trust that they bring to the happiness of this day. And since we know that nothing without you and nothing is strong, nothing is holy, we pray that as they've made their vows, you alone can sustain them and surround them. May your spirit of love sanctify their joy and enrich their love. Guide them by your grace and keep them in your love. Blessed be the God and Father of us all, our Lord Jesus Christ. Be with us all.